percentile you're in on OF? I am in top, the top, top, top 0.09%. Uh, wait, just really quick. You do you do OnlyFans, you do OnlyFans. Anybody else here do OnlyFans? Just just you three, correct? No hidden OF, Justin. <laughs> Drop you, the link. What I, do you uh, invest in, by the Jay way? Jay Waller, Everything. 69. OnlyFans? Yeah. You're very smart. No, I, I, I have I'm not judging fans. you. OnlyFans.com slash cool. whatever. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki's on there. Um, can, uh, can, I, can I ask them? Just really quick on money. So you said you make $70,000 a month. How much do you make? Between 30000 and 100000 a month. Wow. Okay. And how much do you make per month? Um, I started. Like, just started. Okay. So. I just started, but I average about 6000 That's about it. Impressive. Impressive. I, with, that's with like no following and... So no to, life, to drive the point home, uh, we're talking about the crisis of masculinity. We're talking about the fact that there's not enough real men in the world. There's so I've heard from literally thousands of women in the past several months that have been like, man, I wish that there were more real men out there. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of dudes are having their, their real, their life force sapped from their bodies, from mm -hmm. all of this pornography out there. And we've talked throughout this conversation about this idea that, hey, I have, I have my morality as long as it's not hurting anybody. What's the big deal, right? What I want to know is, do we think it is responsible if we're trying to create a healthy society to increase the amount of pornography that's available to men? If we want to see the masculinity crisis fixed, is it a good idea to continue contributing to it with more pornography? Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a qu follow up question for you. Mm -hmm. Not to like drive away from what you asked, but do you think if all the top, let's say 25, even 50 or 100 top creators took took their platform off of OnlyFans, do you not think that men would still find another girl to go subscribe to and get the same content or go on Pornhub and do the same thing? Also, to counteract that, do you think that the men that are on OF, it's, it's primarily men. The people that go in strip clubs, primarily men. You can't be mad at a woman for making her bag when you're the reason that there is a bag there to begin with. Here's the That's question. Fair. Here's I the question I have. How many married men do you guys have subscribing to you? About forty percent. Yeah, forty so percent. Probably, probably. Yeah. Some of them have their wife in their profile picture with them. Yeah. That's bizarre. Some how, of them have many... fantasies about you being in the you. Like fantasies about like their wife finding out or something. Like or couples, I've couples yo, yo. who subscribe. You never they know. watch but, my content together and it brings them closer together. I love it. But here, but here's the True. thing though. I bet that's such mm -hmm. a small percentage. I bet a lot of husbands, their wives don't know, and if their wives did find out, they'd be I, fucking I, pissed. So I had one guy I, admit true. to me that that's he true. had to get off OnlyFans because his fiance found out and was like, either we're done or you get off OnlyFans. Yeah. So I had I, I had a guy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I had a guy or uh, a woman message me last week. She said, my I just found out that my husband has spent $30,000 on an OnlyFans hoe. <gasps> what should I do about this? Should I divorce him? Yikes. In my opinion, in in, in, yeah, in my opinion, if a woman was in that kind of situation, she should leave him. Yeah. So yeah. so here, I'm, I'm curious for you two, if you guys got married and you found out that your husbands were spending tens of thousands of dollars on other women's pornographic content, how would that make you feel? That's hard to say. I feel like just because, like, Is obviously it? being in this industry, it's like, me and him both do OnlyFans. We both make content. And so it's like, and obviously, I mean, they're going to watch, you guys are going to watch porn either way. I personally don't I have Don't a put that on me. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> yeah. to. Okay, majority, 95% of men are going to be watching porn. <laughs> not, you're not, not sure. You're not going to at least crave sexual Wait, gratification. Your, your boyfriend no? is Wait, doing you're celibate, content. Right? Unless, a, unless you're, yeah. unless you're asexual you or so celibate. His, 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 the people that subscribe to him are probably men as well. Is that correct? It is about, I, I use, yeah, it's about high percentage. 90% gay yeah. men and yeah. about 10% women. Right. Yeah. So the problem. So the problem with this is, is this is why men should take responsibility. Men have always led the world. Let's let's not act like that's not the case. We invent, build, and maintain society. Yeah. The fact that, despite how beautiful you are, you're stunning. The fact that Thank you, you can make more money than the mother that paved the road for me to get here is a joke. Yep. It's yeah. a yeah. joke, Absolutely. and it's broken. Now that's not disrespect to you, but one thing I will say about Dubai, if you want to bring Dubai back up, is that you can't do that shit in Dubai. Yeah. You can't, no, you no, you can't. You can't even get on a porn site in Dubai if you wanted to. And I, one thing what I would think they that do to you if, in Dubai, like you just can't do head it. Chops. Head chops. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they they they, oh they, they take it away. And for that, I will say, when I'm in Dubai, not only is it safer, but you see more families in, in Dubai. You see more. You see kids. You see things like this. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, I'm all about people having their free rights and everything. But I do think Dubai gets that right because if America doesn't do something to save the men, so men can be good enough to get good, beautiful women like you ladies, then we are always going to have this problem, regardless of religion. This is why we should ban porn in America. 
I'm about I it. I, I'm for it. Oh look, look, if we go. agree on anything, we'll, we'll ban look, we ban porn. I'm, yes. I'm about I'm all it's, about banning it's, porn because so what's funny. happening it's so funny how the women are more upset about it than the guys yeah. right now well no wait, look look but, we're but, trying the, to but the point is <laughs> but the point is this what's happening the point is it lists go ahead one quick thing is um, perhaps the women at this table haven't been hurt by a, per, a man cheating on them or a boyfriend or something cheating on them and looking at porn or cheating with another person but I know people that have been hurt and probably we know people who have been hurt I, have been, I have been. You have been yeah okay. exactly so, so, and that's the so point what, like, what's the golden rule right do unto others how you'd want them to do to you right and so I think that's really you mentioned a crisis of masculinity I think there's a crisis of <sighs> femininity too because you know we set the standard as women right like that's part of our role in society of saying like we're gonna have boundaries we're gonna have standards for the men and that they mm -hmm. need to rise to the occasion for us but I would but, argue there's just as many reason, male feminists as there are women feminists. yes well, and those all motherfuckers yeah. are the ones that's messing everything up all young losers. beautiful girl would be much happier if there's a man that you could be inside of his frame and not be talking to weirdos on the internet I know you make a lot of money and, and I don't blame you for doing it right. 70 grand a month that's good money but Ideally for you, if there was a man that you could look up to, admire, want to be inside that frame, and you knew he had everything taken care of completely, you would put it down. And and it's not anybody's fault but weak men that a young lady like this is having to do something like mm. that because there's no man around that she can identify as a Traditionally, men one. are providers, and we are the caretakers. Mm. And I, because of how, again, you guys were saying weak men, for that reason, I was raised where you don't rely on anybody. Mm. You get yeah. your bag by yourself, and that's for that reason. My household was very traditional, yet we were still raised because of how the world was turning, that you provide for yourself and you rely on absolutely nobody. I just want to well, say, I think you're really smart for, like, investing and not, like, blowing your OnlyFans money on, like, flexing, like, you know, like, Hermes bags and, like, stupid stuff. So, like, thank you. Yeah. I want to say that. One, one I, question I for wanna, you. One question for you. Um, okay, so. Can I say something, Brian, really quick? Super sure. Super quick for Kirsten. Okay, super quick. Um, I believe that you're very smart, that you're very beautiful, you're very talented, and I think you could make a boatload of money not doing OnlyFans. I and agree. I think eventually, I agree, but maybe I not also 70K. Think not that kind of yeah. money. I also I agree in that. that. But also, like, I'm extremely business minded, mm -hmm. where it's like I'm making all this money now that I can invest into all these businesses, and I don't have to worry about taking loans. I don't have mm -hmm. to take money from other people. Mm -hmm. I'm able to make all this money myself and make all these businesses that I don't have to. I don't have to work when I'm older. Are you doing that right now? That's what yeah. I'm working towards. Yeah, investments, businesses, all kinds of what things. What kind of businesses you want to build? Uh, the current one I'm working on is a women's only gym. That is that's cool. so based. Yeah. That's, that's super well, based. Yeah. Is it though? Yeah, dude. I nah, think, I think we should have. I think we should have men's only gyms and women's with only all the gyms. Laws in California currently yeah, I was about to say like gender issues. Yeah. And so you can't you can't do that. That's a huge legality thing. But we're able to work around it with a lawyer that I'm speaking to, which I can't oh. really talk too right. much more on it. Well, right I, now, I should. I mean, there's something in California called the UNRU. It's mm -hmm. U N R U H. I believe the UNRU. I 